myself and nothing. Straight up, I can't go one day without finessing. The flow finessing, finessing. I can't go bro, I can't make it. We straight up finessing. Straight up, straight up finessing. What's good, YouTube? This your boy J Diggy 92 coming at you with a review. Oh snap, that shit was lit. But um, yeah, man, J Diggy 92, welcome back to another episode of Finesse Kids in it, bitch. It's lit. But um, yeah, man, I kind of like that intro, Finesse Kicks in this bit. But um. Yeah, uh, we got another shoe review for y'all. Told y'all, was hitting y'all with the back, 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 the back. But um, going back, the back, the back, to back. But um, yeah, man, I, I told y'all, I was gonna hit y'all with the continuous shoe reviews. Like, I ain't putting on no clothing, clothing pickups for a minute. Y'all be watching them shits. But <laughs> it's all good. I know it's gonna be long as hell. My last clothing vid, I was fat as hell too, so it didn't even look good. But, um, yeah, so, we got another shoe. It's just sitting right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's just pop right there. But, um, y'all already know what it is. It's a Jordan 6 All-Star. It came out during the All-Star game. And these Jones retail at a ridiculous 225. That shit don't But, um, I don't even, like... The colors on here just say black, black and white. No, damn well these on iridescent cook. But um, so yeah, we're gonna have to pull the shoe out, and I'm gonna tell y'all why I even bought these jumps. Cause y'all know I wasn't paying 225 for these things. Like you got me booked up. But uh, I don't know where my joint went. But shout out to Goat as always. They're the only reason I bought them. I forgot how much they was. It was like, I got these off a of goat for, I want to say like 140. Like I paid less than retail. Like that was the only way I was buying these on because if they wasn't less than retail, I was not getting these shits. Because you can't really wear this on with everything. Like you got to pretty much have all black on or have a shirt that's like iridescent or some shit for these to actually work. Um, I know y'all y'all can kind of see it just because I'm in the light like a little bit. Y'all can kind of see the color change. But like they really do change colors. It's like a chameleon jump. Um, I know these these are kind of old, but I think they're dope. The quality on these jumps though, like it's I don't think it's, it's good to me. To me, the quality is there. Um, I really like the bottoms and how they, they still got that iridescent flow to it too. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's, hopefully it's changing colors and not hopefully the B-roll did it. Like, 225, not so much. Like, I know you got like a hexagon on the back of the Jumpman type shit. And it's like, the tips is like, some metallic iridescent too, but it's a really plain shoe for 225. Like, once you get past the iridescent jumps, it's really like a really green shoe. And it's just like, you can't really wear this with much. If you do, it's gotta be like damn near perfect. Like, I think I should put the picture somewhere. Like, this is what I wore to fit with. Like, this is what it fit with. This that's the only reason I got these shoes is just to match that fit because I knew this would match perfect. But like, you gotta wear like that color green to match with these. So it's it's kind of hard to match colors with this unless like you have something already or you know. You can make this crack with some fit, but other than that, like if you just buy the jumps because you like them, it's gonna be hard. Uh, same thing with the All Star ones, but I mean, I really like these. Like, I took the like the acetone to them, get some of the black off. Nothing really happens. Like the black just moves around. Like this all. So I know some reviews be like, oh, you, you use the black and you rub off and it look better, nigga. It's just still still the same shoe. Like. It really don't change, but I think my favorite part of this shoe would have to be the bottoms and um, the lace tips. The smell is amazing. I only wore these once, and the smell is still that giant smell. So good, but um, 
Yeah, man, like, I, I like it, but it's just, it's not much you can wear with this. And the 225 was, like, really the reason I didn't get them. But, uh, yeah, man, Jordan 6 All-Star, Iridescence, whatever you want to call them. Shout out to GOAT once again. Y'all really need to bang with GOAT. They price would be low as hell. Like, I'm in the process of getting some more off of GOAT right now. So, that should tell you, like, all these shoes are legit. I love GOAT. Hopefully they find the love for me one day. And um, yeah, man. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up, like button, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Um, you wanna follow anything? Y'all know y'all can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snap, Snapchat, all that. J D ninety two. Shout out to Art Page for Nesca Masterpieces. Go follow that. Go buy you some art. Um, and yeah, man. If you're looking to buy these, go true to size. I meant to say that. Go true to size, like only true to size like i wouldn't say go half size up half size up is too big for me half size down is way too small like you have to really go true to size with these and um yeah man hopefully y'all enjoyed this review smack that like button um and yeah man i'm definitely gonna be coming at y'all with more um go ahead and watch that on feet y'all know that's coming like right behind this video so go ahead hit that watch that subscribe um, join the God Squad if you haven't already, man. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. So glad to be back. And uh, I see y'all when I see y'all, bruh.